our last movie in the Batman series. We made it to number 10. Damn, that went by fast. We are on Justice League right now. Zack Snyder's partial movie that he created but didn't finish, so he left it up to Joss Whedon. Justice League stars again Ben Affleck as Batman, and I think he does still a good job in this movie. Up for debate from a lot of people because there's a lot of scenes where Joss Whedon takes control and switches the script a little bit and turns Zack Snyder's vision into a little bit more of a comedy, if you would say. Still, Joss Whedon's a good director, in my opinion. I mean, he's still good. He's done a lot of Marvel stuff, right? And he's done a good job at that. But for the sake of Zack Snyder and what his vision was, probably didn't mesh really good for two people to be directing this movie. Like I said before, it wasn't predicted that Zack Snyder would leave the production in the manner that he did and because of the reason that he did of why... Yeah, so it's nobody's fault in this. Just, I guess, didn't live up, like I said, like Batman v Superman, didn't live up to the fans' expectations. And bombed pretty pretty bad for a blockbuster movie, which sucks because I was really, this was probably my most anticipated movie of that year when it came out. Plus, Justice League was supposed to be my Avengers, but clearly it didn't live up to that. I, I'm, I'm kind of dumbing down this movie for you. I don't mean to do that. I'm just getting you ready so you don't expect an amazing, I don't know, Infinity War Endgame type movie. It's, it's a good movie. You guys will like it, I'm sure, but you're not going to love it or maybe you will. I don't know. You judge for yourself. Don't let me tell you. I'm just giving you my thoughts. And you know I'm a diehard uh, DC fan, as you can see with Batman. So if I'm telling you the truth from my perspective, just... Yeah. <laughs> so just take my word for it, I feel. Other than that, we're going to be watching Justice League. I'm looking forward to it. This is our last movie in the Batman series. Kind of sad, but on to bigger and better things, I guess. We're going to start a new series soon. Not going to tell you guys what it is yet, because I basically don't know fully yet either. So it's a surprise for both of us. I'll keep you guys updated on it, though. So like always, we're going to be watching the movie together. I'm going to be commentating on it. Give a little... Uh, Give a little nod here and there about certain aspects of the movie and stuff you guys probably didn't know and just maybe little funny comments after. Give my little review of how Justice League holds up today um, and see what you guys think of Ben Affleck in his last, well, supposedly last outing as uh, the Cape Crusader. But word on the internet is that he's coming back for the Snyder Cut to uh, reshoot some shots for Zack Snyder, but... And that that leaves it up for debate if he's coming back on the big screen. I mean, I don't know. He probably isn't. I'm not getting my hopes up, even though I really like him in the mask, the cape and cowl. But we'll see what happens. It's 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 up in the air. I, I can't tell you guys because I'm not there and I'm, I don't work for Warner Brothers. So <laughs> I, I'm just as clueless as you guys are. But Ben Affleck. Let's see what you got in Justice League, all right? Oh, and uh, we can discuss what you guys think of all the other new characters you're about to see in this movie, too. Like Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman, um, Cyborg, uh, Commissioner Gordon. And I know I'm missing some people, but we'll get, to, we'll get to it when we watch the movie, all right? Hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's go. All right, you got the Warner Brothers classic logo going for him. All right, kind of got a little uh, Spider-Man theme going on, right? Kind of sounds like the opening credits to a, the original uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. That reminds me a lot of Justice League Unlimited, the cartoon, and how they opened the credits. As you can see... Yes, it's meant to. That is a CGI on his face to cover up the mustache. Pretty clear. What's the best thing about Planet Earth? Yeah, what is the best thing about Planet Earth? Soups? Lois Lane a bit. Oh! That would be scary. Imagine seeing Batman right behind you as a burglar. God, Batman's just so brutal. Oh, shoot. It's like a wrestling move. Look at Gotham compared to the Dark Knight trilogy. This looks more comical. I mean, not comical, but more like from the comics. That sucks. What the hell? It's 
else they know he's dead, right? Superman. He's gone. Where does that leave us? Oh. Well. Guess we're gonna go see Wonder Woman first. I guess my first question would have to be when I saw this in theaters. What the hell does this have to do with the main story of the movie? I feel this is like, kind of like in a video game, this is just a side quest. <laughs> this really has nothing to do with the main uh, topic. What are you? A believer. I believe there is a stranger who comes to this village from the city. Well, the stranger doesn't come by ship. There are enemies coming. I'm building an alliance. Look, this really kind of cuts to the chase pretty quickly then. Uh, there's the guy. And who does that resemble? Jason. Arthur Curry, also known as the Aquaman. The Aquaman. So let me get this straight. You do a dress like a bat. Don't count on the Batman. Why not? Because I don't want keep coming here, digging into my business, getting into my life. Damn, he said that pretty loud too. Those people could hear him spread the word that he's Batman. Just like a bat. You're out of your mind, Bruce Wayne. He kind of outed him a little bit. I mean, all those people heard what he said. And this is all to pay for a criminal justice degree, huh? Okay, I really don't want to talk about this again. The investigation was botched. Zack Snyder used him in Watchmen. Don't ask me the character. You guys can tell me the character in the comments. I forgot. He's the blue guy who turns big. I forgot his name. Damn it. That's going to piss me off. I keep thinking the Adam. He's not the Adam. He's Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, I got it. Good job, Christian. That's not, that's not true. You know, ever since we got visitors from Krypton, people have been waiting for the next alien invasion. Now we're gonna wonder if I'm in. Just in my opinion, I feel like they wanted to be so different than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They didn't want to introduce characters one by one, so they had to rush everything and just put the Justice League out so fast. And I feel that's why we're not really getting a true backstory for each of these heroes, which disappoints me because I really want to know more about him. Like, Cyborg, he seems pretty cool. I want to know more about how he got injured and how he ended up Cyborg, basically. Steppenwolf. So, supposedly, he's going to look different in the Snyder Cut. Ooh. Damn. Watch out. Ooh. They gotta have something faster than the horse. I feel, yep. Yeah, he caught up to that pretty fast. Oh. We have to light the ancient warning fire. Men won't know what it means. Men won't. She will. She as in Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Some shot. God damn! The fire could be seen for miles on end. My Howard is a good man. He's a provider. And these aliens are gonna f broke him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta add that comment. That's Joss Weed and all the time all day. Come on. I don't I don't see Zack Snyder adding that into the movie. Look, she's being bleep, bleeped out right now. Those are old photos of him. Oh, there's Bruce. Batman. How's he getting all this crap? I think there's an attack coming. Not coming, Bruce. It's already here. They called him Steppenwolf. They're looking for boxes. Mother boxes. Carried from planet to planet. The mother boxes combine to form the unity, but transforms them into the primordial hellscape of Steppenwolf. See, this is something that could be better explained and better, like told to us as being this big important type of kind of like infinity stones like i don't see the importance of these mother boxes that much because they're just being explained to me right now so they, they could they could have should have done this oh green lantern <laughs> they should have done this better as in introducing these mother boxes in other movies before just this week oh, i wonder where that ring's going
One was entrusted to the Amazons. One to the Atlanteans. Both sealed and guarded in secure strongholds. The box of man was buried in secret. So as I can see so far, Batman's the leader of the Justice League. Oh, Victor Stone's right there. Now that's a cool man cave. Why is he listening to K-pop? Oh. Imagine if he wasn't the Flash. He got knocked right in the freaking head. Wait, didn't he not have arms in the last video we saw of him? The program always gets twitchy with this footage. Hmm. We need you, Victor. And maybe you need us. Steppenwolf? Yep. Ooh. Oh, probably looks like he broke his neck. Alright, you got it. Not it was pretty simple for him, I feel. That is scary. He's got two. All he needs is one more. How many of you are there? The head of Star Labs was taken as well. Do you really think that... Yep. Oh, wow, they just... They really just vanished. And the fastest oh. one is the one who's left behind. That's rude. It's really cool. You guys seem ready to do battle and stuff, but full transparency, I've never done battle. I just push some people and run away. <laughs> Save one. Oh. No, you won't. Save one. Save one. Yeah, save more. This one is mine. You overestimate yourself. Hmm. Oh, that's a dick. I didn't bring a sword. <laughs> now he's spread a jacked up machine. Oop, that's all the help she needed. Whoever. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Zack Snyder's choreography, like him wanting these fight scenes and like him putting it all together, because he does a pretty good job. Whenever like I see a movie he's directed like uh, 300 or Watchmen, yeah, Zack Snyder ha knows how to put together a good fight scene, so I'm pretty sure this is him and not Joss Whedon. Did he just bail? <laughs> Did he just bail? Wow, it's like a cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bat cave. Like a bat cave. What if you were stronger than a planet? Your cells lying dormant, but incapable of decay. Mm. If you were in a conductive field, boost from the mother box could bring him back to life. Yep. No. Diana. Bruce, no. Is it a risk? Yes, but it's necessary. Why? Because of your guilt? You know that if she kills you, we'll cover for her. We are not enough. <laughs> Each of us in our own way is held back. And I Dude, he found up, all you guys. You guys should give him a little gratitude. He's leading you all to stop. battle. I agree. Cyborg I like the agrees. idea of reintegrating with the mother box. But I was running the numbers while you were being an asshole. And there's a high probability that we can bring him back. Well, that answers my question, though. What, uh, what, where they buried the body, either in Superman's grave or Clark Kent's? So they use super, uh, Clark's. You got struck by lightning, huh? I, yeah, that's the abridged version. You explosion. Where are the accidents? Yeah, it's us. Flash is funny. I'm here for him. I swear I would never say it. Hey, don't be mean to Batman. He likes you and you like him. Lex Luthor fried the circuits, bringing his creature to life. There's not enough charge to wake the box. I might be able to do it. The mother box is ready. You have to charge it the moment it touches the fluid. Diana's right. This is a bad idea. Four. Can't, Four. can't do that at the last minute. Three. You guys gotta Three. be this be Two. set in stone that you're gonna do this. Well, there you go. 
So when we saw the sand or the dirt lift off his uh, his um, coffin in Batman vs Superman, I guess it had nothing to do with him coming back to life, which I kind of feel bad about because I mean like that was kind of a cool way to bring him back because like he's not fully dead. So does that mean the cops see him as Clark or Superman? Should we show our bellies? <laughs> I love his movie references. Pet Cemetery. He kind of reminds me of uh, Tom Holland's Peter Parker in uh, the MCU movies. Because he kind of is like the comedic relief, the Flash, Barry Allen, Ezra Miller. Oh. He can see you. Look at the dent in the car. Oh no. Yes, it does. The world needs a bat. Reminiscent of Batman vs. Superman. Oh, Lois is the big guns. Clark. So what about that cop? So does, does that cop know he's Clark Kent now? This doesn't answer questions. They're not good at hiding their secret identities. Uh, yeah. oh, something is definitely bleeding. oh my god. You're making the Batman comedic. Don't not go back to Adam West. Why did you leave it all alone? Yeah, the last one. If the boxes are even close to each other, there's going to be some kind of energy sir. So you can't find them? Or maybe you don't want to. Uh, so is this a, a bad time to bring up my blood sugar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. Go get something to eat, you're fast. You know you can't do this forever. I can barely do it now. <laughs> Steppenwolf. I can barely this do it job. now. It's my job. He is definitely a weathered I Batman. Hmm. Imagine if it really wasn't him. That would suck. This is gonna be some crazy shiz uh, shit. Batman doesn't need powers. Oh my gosh. He's confessing all this stuff. Why are you picking on him? I honestly didn't hear anything after we're all gonna die. <laughs> Why do you pick on Barry? Just because he's the smallest? Damn, that family has been boarded up there for like a while now. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Wonder what they've been eating. Yeah, because Batman's driving them away for you. He's got you guys. I swear, all these cars have everything on them. Honestly, I don't think I have a favorite Batmobile, but his is pretty kick ass. That was like the only cuss word he said in- I wonder how many Batmobiles he has, or does he, does he just repair one? I mean, come on, he might not have any powers, but that's still pretty cool. So what is the mother box spreading? It looks like some sort of weed. Jokes aside, this would be a pretty cool video game. I mean, I know a lot of movies don't come out as good video games, but this looks like it would be fun. There are two ways to see the truth. Well, I believe in truth. Ooh. I'm also a big fan of justice. Hmm. Look at this. They don't even need the rest of the team. I'm sorry. I mean, I love Batman, but <laughs> look at this. Not even a fight. Doomsday was more of a fight than this guy. It's just kind of pathetic. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's not even fair. He freaking lifts a whole building to safety and comes back and beats Steppenwolf's ass. This is not even fun. This is pathetic. Oh. These guys are turning on him. That's not cool. Puts money anywhere he wants. The worst job you can get in a crime lab, but uh, my, my foot's in the door. Yeah, I got a recommendation from a friend. Big round table, six chairs, right there. The room for more. Yes, because we want to see Green Lantern and we want to see all these other hot the girls. Oh. Darkness was deep and seemed to swallow all hope. The bat suit. To remind us that hope is real. Well, you can't go you work back at the Daily Planet, can you? They thought you were dead. How are you going to explain that? That's cool, though. Guess that's it. That was pretty fast. Kind of want more, though, but we'll see. I hope you guys didn't think I forgot the end credit scenes. Yeah, and it's not like a competition, you know? Well, it is a competition, but, you know, it's not like a macho... Measuring things. <laughs> oh, why would you want him off the team? He's so helpful. If I win, Bruce said something about you having to take us all to brunch. Okay, but if I win, I get to tell everyone. <laughs> Who are you gonna Which tell? Uh, you know, I've never seen the Pacific. That's a good question, though. Who would win in a race? I'm guessing Flash would win. That's it. We are done with Batman in live action form. Crazy. Can't believe we got here, but we did. Well. Ten films down, something else to go. <laughs> no, guys, yeah, we just wrapped up Justice League with Ben Affleck's uh, Batman and uh, Bruce Wayne. What can I say? Justice League is Justice League. Not really that much of an in-depth movie where I need to go very precise elements about the film because it's more of just like a film where you just relax and, and enjoy popcorn and watch some mindless violence and... Uh, funny commentary go on. Justice League, in my opinion, because Justice League is something near and dear, close to my heart, which I grew up watching the cartoons. It's with Batman, Superman, and thousands of other superheroes in it. <laughs> um, when I when I was going into watching this movie in theaters before watching this with you guys right now, I mean, a long time ago, it was something I was really looking forward to and something I was really anticipating for that year. I think it came out like 2017, 2018. Uh, I think 2017. Yeah, it was probably my one of my most, probably the most anticipated movie for me of that year. And being the type of guy who I am, even hearing the reviews before going into it and hearing that it doesn't live up to expectations, I still kind of had semi-high hopes for it. I knew I wasn't going to be as pleased as I was, once thought I was going to be pleased with. I still enjoyed the movie. And I still enjoy the movie today. It's it's a really quick movie, actually. After watching all these three-hour-plus movies with the Dark Knight... Uh, Dark Knight Rises was like two hours, what, 45 minutes? The Ultimate Edition of Batman v Superman was three hours um, without an end credit scene. Now that we I watched it today, it's just... It went by too fast. It was just all crammed into this huge, I wouldn't call it a mess, because it's not really a mess, it's just, it probably had a lot of elements in it that could have been adapted better and shown on screen better and just gone more in depth with the characters and the scenarios and the scenes and the script and just dialogue and making us understand better of what we were watching on the film. It just felt too shoved in our faces and too forced they were just like like we've heard a lot of times on the well at least i have heard a lot of times on the internet justice league was really trying to compete with what marvel has already put out and marvel is a very established movie group right now the uh, mcu is a very established 
universe in the film industry right now. There's a lot of MCU movies, a lot of Avengers movies, and a lot of superheroes uh, to boot. The Justice League was not nearly close to that. And for some reason, Warner Brothers thought it was a good idea to try to race to the finish line, even though they were not yet established. And I can understand why they did want it, why they tried to do it this way and tried to do it a different way than the MCU. They wanted to be original. But was it the smart move, in my opinion? Not entirely. Did we get a mediocre superhero film? Yes. I'm sad to say yes. It's it's a mediocre um, blockbuster film. I still enjoyed it. I like the action. I like the characters. I like Aquaman. I like Flash. I like Cyborg. I, I really like Superman. And you know how I feel about Ben Affleck's Batman. And Wonder Woman. I really like Wonder Woman. She, uh, Gal Gadot, even though she was getting some criticism before she we saw her in Wonder Woman, I think she did a pretty damn good job. Would I have ever picked her as Wonder Woman from seeing her in like Fast the Fast and Furious movies? Probably not, because... She doesn't have the build of Wonder Woman, but she she put in work and bulked up and got very muscular, and she acts like an Amazonian should act, I feel, and she does a great job, and she's a standout of the Justice League. A lot of people like her, and I'm anticipating uh, Wonder Woman 1984. I'm really looking forward to that movie, and I hope it comes out soon whenever this whole pandemic decides to end and we get to go to the movies again, because I doubt they're just going to release it to... Uh, to um, video on demand or HBO Max for that matter, but I just got word. I just saw on the internet the other day that uh, Mulan's going to go straight to Disney Plus for thirty bucks. I mind you, at, even if you subscribe to Disney Plus, you're still going to have to pay thirty bucks to watch the movie. That's a lot of cash. <laughs> I hope they don't do that with Wonder Woman or any DC movies for that matter. But onto onto the other stuff about the movie. It's just Justice League was. If Batman v Superman was not what we really wanted, even though it was still a good movie, but we expected more from it, Justice League was really underwhelming to me. I wanted so much more from it, but I also enjoyed what I got. And I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not a whiner, and I don't want to cry about a movie and look back and say what they could have done right. And like, because Zack Snyder apparently is trying to make it right right now. <laughs> thank, thank God on that. But for the Justice League movie we got back then. I, I would still like to see a sequel for it, um, but like I said, we're getting a Zack Snyder Justice League, and if that does well, hopefully more Zack Snyder stuff will come out. So we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah, Justice League, I give it somewhere around a solid B-. minus. I give Justice League a B-, minus C+. Plus. No, B-. minus. I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. B- minus is what I give it. I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of being a little um, lenient on the grade right now, I'm being a little biased because I am a big DC fan. I feel a lot of people would give it maybe a C or even a D, but a B minus for me is what I give Justice League. It's still a fun movie. You got to enjoy it for what it is. There's a lot of action, a lot of good dialogue, a lot of good characters in it that we would like to see fleshed out more in the future. Um, like Flashpoint, I'm looking forward to that movie. I hope it comes out sometime soon because they've been talking about it for like years and years. So we got to see what happens. But the characters in it, uh, like um, uh, J.K. Simmons, um, Commissioner Gordon, we didn't see much of him, but J.K. Simmons is a great actor and I would like to see him as Commissioner Gordon. But apparently he's getting replaced in the new Batman movie coming out, The Batman with Robert Pattinson by uh, the guy in uh, Westworld, who I'm going to look up right now. So give me one minute. Jeffrey Wright, he's going to be the new Commissioner Gordon. And from what I've seen him in, I've seen him in Casino Royale, and I've only seen snippets of Westworld. I haven't watched it yet. He seems like a good actor, and I think he will do the role justice. But would I still like to see J.K. Simmons in the role? Of course. But he might be pursuing um, the Spider-Man movies now because he got his role back as um, J. Jonah Jameson. And it looks like from the last Spider-Man movie, he's reprising the role. So he might be going in that direction. We don't know. But DCU is just all up in the air right now. Uh, I saw Joker. That's a great movie. That's not part of the DCEU. Maybe they're just trying to go off of solo DC movies now. I don't know. I mean, I still would like to see a DCU. I think that would be fun. But if they want to do solo movies as well, that's cool too. But 
yeah, make the DCU happen. It's cool to have a incorporated type of movies that are all binded together by characters that are existent in the same universe. I think that is a cool concept. And if MCU can do it, uh, Disney can do it, I'm sure Warner Brothers can do it too. They're a well-established corporation, and I have faith in them. But, yeah, Justice League, B-. minus. Now on to Ben Affleck, his last time as Batman slash Bruce Wayne in the cape and cowl. What do I think about it? I think, honestly, he did a better job in Batman v Superman. And I think that is owed to Zack Snyder being the only director in that movie. He was a lot more brooding and a lot darker and a lot more sinister and um, weathered and angry and just tougher, I feel, in Batman v Superman. And Justice League was just there were so many comedic parts, and I think we owe that to Joss Whedon because that's kind of his directing style. I still liked him in Justice League. He's still the Batman I vote as number one for me. But because of the directing style and the writing, he gets a little lower score for me. And Batman v Superman was his best outing to date. Unless he comes back, which I do not know. I hope so, but we can only hope. Ba uh, ben Affleck, still my favorite Batman, still my favorite Bruce Wayne. I think he did a great job, and I was sad to see him go. I hope we see him again soon, and I hope he does reshoot some shots for Zack Snyder for his Snyder cut of Justice League. Batman, Ben Affleck, Batflick, great job. So, other actors. Henry Cavill as Superman, love him as a Superman. Not going to pay him that much attention because this is a Batman series after all. Amy Adams, Lois Lane, good job. Wasn't in Justice League as much as she was in Batman v Superman. Gal Gadot. Wonder Woman, great, great Wonder Woman, really like her in the role. She did a good job in Justice League too. I'll come back to this guy, uh, Jason Momoa. I saw him in, uh, I saw him in Aquaman and Justice League. He's a little different in Justice League than he is in uh, Aquaman. He's a lot more carefree in Aquaman and a lot less angry at his mother because you saw in that scene that he is kind of angry at his mom for leaving him and blaming her. For leaving his dad, but they cut it, the continuity for that against Aquaman and uh, Justice League. It doesn't really mesh, but that's for you guys to decide yourselves if you ever choose to watch Aquaman as well. Uh, but yeah, Jason Momoa, I like him as Aquaman. I wasn't really sure on it when they announced it because he doesn't look like the Aquaman we saw in the cartoons as kids. Because uh, Aquaman was like a blonde guy. <laughs> this he's a lot. Well, he's definitely not blonde. <laughs> But I do like him as Aquaman. He he does play a good Aquaman. Ray Fisher as Cyborg. I would like to see more of Ray Fisher as Cyborg. I think he did a good job, and I'd like to see him on screen more. And I hope he gets a solo movie sometime soon. That would be cool. I'd like to see a Cyborg movie. I think he is an underdeveloped character, and that someone I would like to see more in the films of uh, the DCEU. I would like to see him reprise the role as Cyborg. I think he did a good job. I think he is I think he is comic book realistic to me at least and uh, Teen Titans he is yeah, he, I think he fits the bill for um that at uh, one of the Teen Titans Cyborgs and he, he said his catchphrase at the end of the movie. So, I think it's cool. Uh who else? Jer Jeremy Irons plays Alfred again, not really on screen that much, but he does play a good Alfred. I would like to see more of him on screen. I don't know if we will. That hasn't been announced either. The DCU just really leaving us in the dust here, just trying to guess. So I don't know. But yeah, um, Jeremy Irons, great actor. Would like to see him as Alfred again. He does a great job, a great follow-up Alfred to um, Michael Caine's Alfred. I still prefer Michael Caine, but Jeremy Irons is also younger and seems like he can handle a lot more technical stuff than Michael Caine can. So, like, Batman needs his help with anything, like uh, building something or testing out something as you saw in Justice League. He's working on the working on the machines and stuff for Batman and helping him uh, pick up all these gadgets and stuff. Yeah, uh, Jeremy Irons is that guy. So I, I like Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Diane Lane plays uh, Martha Kent. Good job. Not really that much in the movie either. She's a great actress. Haven't uh, She hasn't been in that much for me to give her a huge effort of giving you my personal opinion on her because I feel like we haven't seen her that much in these movies to talk about but yeah Martha Kent she plays a good mother she helps guide Superman stuff so I like her Martha Kent um Diane Lane I think the last guy I'll talk about is uh I'm just gonna call him by his last name because I'm gonna butcher his first uh, uh Mr. Hines um as uh the guy who plays Steppenwolf that is a really underdeveloped villain there is not much backstory on steppenwolf for the p 
people who don't really know much about him, as I didn't, because I I really didn't know that much about Steppenwolf going into the Justice League. I didn't read that many comic books about him, so I had to do I had to do a little research on the internet and have him, uh, have it be explained that he is the uncle to Darkseid. Am I right? I think he's the uncle to Darkseid, and so he was doing Darkseid's bidding. If I'm right, in the Snyder Cut, we're going to see Darkseid be introduced for Justice League. But Steppenwolf is supposed to be that baddie right before we get to Darkseid. I hope in the Snyder Cut we get to see Steppenwolf be talked about and understood as this all-powerful being more. Because really, as soon as Superman showed up in the movie, Steppenwolf was not a threat at all. I mean, like, Superman just showed up, said two words, started punching Steppenwolf. That's it. Game over. He wa- he wasn't really that much of an intimidation, which I found to be underwhelming, and I really didn't enjoy. I I wanted to see more of a fight between Superman and Steppenwolf. I mean, kind of like Doomsday. Doomsday. We all know Doomsday in the comics killed Superman, and like we saw in Batman v Superman too. So to see the fight between Superman and Do- and um, Doomsday, that's kind of what I was expecting for Steppenwolf versus Superman as well, but. No, Steppenwolf didn't really stand a chance against Superman. So yeah, Steppenwolf, underdeveloped, could be better. Typical baddie, not much I can judge on him because we weren't given much about him in the first place. So Steppenwolf, whatever. He's a bad guy. That's it. But yeah, does Justice League hold up to today? I say yes, because it is a very modern movie. It only came out like, what, two, three years ago? So... Yes, it still holds up. The graphics are pretty good, except the CGI for Superman's face that they wanted to cover the mustache he had for uh, Mission Impossible. It still holds up. It's still a blockbuster movie. You still could, would, should see it in theaters. I mean, it's a type of movie you should see in theaters because there are a lot of explosions, a lot of fight scenes that have a lot of big um, aspects of it that you would enjoy better in a movie theater rather than in your home living room. Yes, Justice League still holds up. Could it have been better? Yes, it still could have been better. And will it be better? It probably will after we get the Snyder Cut, but we'll just have to see. Yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, yeah, and who I was forgetting, Ezra Miller as The Flash. I A lot of people, I don't know. I think a lot of people are mixed about Ezra Miller as The Flash. Me, personally, I wasn't really expecting him to be a great Flash. And do I still think he's a great Flash? I I don't know if he's a great Flash because I'm not very familiar with Barry Allen. I mean, I I think Wally West was a Flash I'm used to um, because he was in the Justice League. And yeah, it was Wally West. I don't think it was Barry Allen. So that's a Flash I'm kind of used to. But I hear a lot of people say Grant Gustin, the guy who plays the Flash on the TV show, is a better Flash than Barry Allen and then uh, Ezra Miller's version. But I like Ezra. He's kind of funny. I like any. He. puts the comedic aspect in the film and he is a comedic relief and i like that i like that he adds the jokes and makes funny snarky comments and and he's also cool to watch when he runs fast and see the blue lightning after him i mean like i i know a lot of people had a gripe with that too because uh, usually flash has yellow lightning following him not blue but it's not a big deal for me ezra miller as flash i liked him i think he does a good job i don't know if he's going to be in flashpoint i heard rumors he's going to be um have a a recasted because of the situation he was in with that video of him pushing a girl or something uh i don't want to get into that i don't know much about it but i hate recasting but if he did really do that and if he's accountable for that maybe they need to recast him i i really don't know that sucks so if it's real if the video is real because yeah but as in justice league he's funny uh i liked him he does a good job as flash i proof (laughs) all right guys This is my outro for my last video of the series for Batman. Kind of sad to see these Batman videos finally come to an end because I really love the Batman movies. And I really love watching the live action Batman films on screen and watching them with you guys. But it's on to newer stuff now, which I will ask you down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions for me of what I should do next. Because I am up in the air with what I should do next. Should I do the cartoon uh, TV series, the Batman Andy series? Should I commentate on those? Batman Beyond? Uh, any Batman stuff, all, if you have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. 
Uh, or it doesn't have to be Batman. We can move on. We can go to Spider-Man. We can go to the MCU. We can go to Star Wars. We can, or we can just watch random vit movies. Whatever, whatever you guys are interested in. Or I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you an example right now. I think the least watched movies for me, even though I do like them, I just never get around to them that much. Are horror movies. If you guys want to watch some horror movies with me, let me know. Let me know some good horror movies. Um, Honestly, my favorite horror movie right now, even though it is kind of a comedy, is probably Cabin in the Woods. Probably close second is uh, Zombieland. But I think those for me are the horror movies I like. I am also, uh, I could also watch the, the gory stuff too, but I don't know if YouTube will be okay with that. But yeah, suggestions, any, just leave them down in the comments. I'm open to anything. Um, but yeah, other than that, also I would like to talk to you guys about what you guys thought of Justice League movie. Let me know how you felt about the characters and how you felt about this movie as a whole and if you guys think it holds up. And would you guys go out and see it again in theaters or would you just wait for it on a streaming service? I don't know. I mean, like, Justice League is Justice League. It's not an Avenger movie, but we got what we got and we'll just enjoy for what it was. But yeah, guys, uh, I have yet to know when I'm going to drop my next video because I'm going to wait a little bit. But I am going to um, make another follow-up video for you guys to let you know what my next series will be about. And uh, that will be coming out very soon. I will drop it soon, so put on your notifications for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video. Don't forget to comment about what you thought of the movie and what you thought of Ben Affleck or any of the other characters. But yeah, let's try to keep it, since it's the Batman series, I mean, keep it about talking about Batman. Let's, let's see how you guys feel about Batman. Or all the movies, just... Rate all the movies we've watched so far of Batman and see which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite and which Batman is your least favorite out of all the ones we've watched so far. But yeah, guys, it's been a fun ride. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. I will post a follow-up video telling you guys what my next series is, like I said. But until then, you guys have a great day. And um, I hope quarantine is going great for you guys i hope work has picked up for you guys or you're just doing some fun stuff hanging out with friends staying home uh whatever you guys are doing i hope you guys are having a great day and you're enjoying life that's all we can do right now so take it one step of a time take it one step at a time until we're out of this quarantine and everything's all better in the u.s or anywhere else in the world all right i'll see you guys very soon okay peace Oh, I think I know who that is. Are you chilling on his yacht? Yep, that's Destro. There he is. Welcome aboard. I was just celebrating God's return out of the ground and back up into the sky. He and his odd little friends are forming some sort of league. You better not be wasting good time. Shouldn't we have a league of our own? Injustice League?